Hey EV Generation, I'm JD and this is Ronnie. Today we're coming to you with some SMR techniques. We're going to do the calf release with a roller. Now the anatomy of the calf, you have the gastrocnemius and you have the soleus. So this movement's going to be more focused on the gastrocnemius. So the reason that we would release the gastroc muscle of the calf is many times when you're doing activity, the calves get quite tight if you're not stretching. Especially if you're doing things like long distance uh, walking, running, cycling, things like that. You have a tendency to, to, to get tight calf muscles. And this is a great way to help release and bring them back to a more of a, a functional muscle. So to get this one going, Ronnie is going to sit back on the ground and I'm going to place this down. She's going to bring both legs over. So you want to place it right on the meaty part of the calf muscle, right? So it's right in the center of the gastro. And then from there, keeping your hands in a position that's going to keep you close to upright. You can also sit against the wall to help support your upper body. Now, this is very important part of, of any of the techniques that we do. Is you spend about the first 20 seconds letting the muscles all release and let your muscles sink down into the roller. You could also do this with the foam roller, which is less intense. We're using the rumble roller today. There is a black rumble roller, which is even more intense if you were finding this one was getting too easy. Now, what we can do here is pull the toes back to stretch, and then you're going to let the toes push forward, and then pull back again. Slowly go forward, and then pull back. Now coming back to a neutral position, you're going to put both feet clockwise and you could do this up to four to six times and then you would move back anti-clockwise so making big circles at the ankle once you've done that, if you wanted to make it even more challenging, you can take one leg and cross it over where the roller meets the calf and just let that sink in for about 20 seconds. And then you'd go back to those techniques again, pushing the foot away and then pulling the foot back. So this is creating some movement up and down the muscle. So you can go deeper into those muscle fibers. Once you've done that, say four to six times, now you also make those clockwise circles at the ankle. And this is getting those muscle fibers some work. And then you would go back and do the same thing anti-clockwise. and release and of course when you're finished you would gently take both legs out make sure you would do both sides of course and then we would just let the roller come away and then Ronnie can stand back up okay now you can always do a test retest so it'd be something like a calf stretch or maybe you would walk around before and after the technique to really see if there's any change in the calf muscle itself. You're probably going to find that it's, it, you, you get a good release and you feel much, much easier to walk around after the technique is finished. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Please come back soon, watch another video. Thank you.